I got a real quick one for you today. Do you remember the Prism HD adapter from Retrobit? It's for the GameCube, gives you HDMI output. Pretty cool stuff. I did a review on this. If you wanna take a look, put like a little link up there or something, whatever. But the one appeal of this is that it's extremely easy to update the firmware if there's new versions of GC Video released. And Retrobit, after GC Video 3.1, was released, they worked on getting their update out there so you can use their updater. Very simple stuff. I'm gonna run you through it real quick, but they have it on their website. I'll put a link in the description. You're gonna download the firmware right here. The manual's there as well if you wanna read that. But there's a few little changes with 3.1. Uh, audio subsystem that reduces the chance of timing failures, improved compatibility with some Samsung TVs, fixed video info codes of 16.9 modes, avoid excessive screen blanking, uh, during menu transition in some games, ergo eternal darkness, added 486 to 480 cropping for Game Boy interface. So I've already tested this out uh, with like a pre-release, you know, updater from Retrobit, but today I am gonna go ahead and update it again with their final updater. So here we go, you have to have a USB-C plugged into this thing, plugged into your computer, has to be data compatible. You have a USB-C cable that's just for like recharging stuff and it has no data line, it's not gonna work. So make sure you're using a USB-C data cable. Some people may be like, well, all of them should be. Not all of them, I plugged one in, I couldn't get it to recognize. It was just a random USB-C cable lying around. So that's one thing to note. So in order to get this going, Unzip the uh, updater that you got. Should have today's date on it, the, or yesterday's date, the 28th, it looks like. Uh, and it's gonna have some instructions and the executable. I'm gonna open that up. And there you go. As long as you're using that data cable, it should like automatically recognize and say device detected. So you'll go ahead and make sure it's green. If it's not connected, I'll just show you real quick. It should just be like, boom, no device detected as you see up there. So we'll go ahead and plug it back in. Now select desired firmware. We're gonna go ahead and pick version 3.1 and then hit update. This should take like a couple minutes. Doesn't really take too long, but let's go ahead and do that. It'll start progressing down there as you see. So we'll let that fly through and then we'll boot up the, uh, the GameCube. Suck Cess, that's what I'm talking about. So we are now ready to unplug this with our newest firmware installed on it. Boom, we are done. And we can plug it into the back of our GameCube and that's what we're gonna do. I, I did a, I might have done a video or promoted it, but from uh, Retro Frog, um, he makes these little like brackets. So when you have these types of adapters, you could just like it rests on it so there's no pressure. Just pointing that out, I'll put a link in the description to that. But we got it plugged in. Now we're gonna go ahead and plug in our power, plug in our HDMI try to uh, show you. And that little button right there on the back of the prism is if you need to sync the remote. Uh, sometimes it comes up where it doesn't work and then I have to resync it. So uh, that's what that button's for. You just press it and then the on-screen menu comes up. If it doesn't recognize it, it's happened to me like once or twice. And then you just remap the buttons real quick. So let's go ahead and boot up the GameCube and check it out. Okay, so there we go. We got the system booted up. I am running a GC loader. I have plenty of videos and all this stuff. Got my wave bird ready. Uh, you're not really gonna notice like a ton of stuff being changed. I mean, it's just those specific things that I mentioned. But let's go ahead and hit the menu button on the included remote. Go down to about. And there we go, GC Video version 3.1. So we are good, it did update. Wasn't lying to us or anything like that. Uh, if you want a more in-depth look at some of this stuff, Take a look at my actual review of this, but let's go ahead and exit out of that. Go to Game Boy Interface. Okay, so there's tons of things you could do with Game Boy Interface as far as the options for visuals and whatnot. But just wanna show here, it does show input of 720 by 486p and that we're getting our output of 720 by 480p. So I think some people were having issues before uh, with Game Boy Interface with GC video, not not the Prism necessarily, just any device that used the, uh, you know, 
GC video software. So that's just one thing that has been changed with this. Like I said, there's tons of different options. I never really had an issue before. Just really depends on your TV sometimes. But yeah, everything's working good. I love this little adapter. It's reasonably priced, comes with a remote, easily updatable, which like I said previously in my review is like one of the biggest selling points here, I, I think. So there's that. I love playing Game Boy Advance through the uh, <laughs> through the, the GameCube, especially using Game Boy interface because it's just the launcher. You know, it's not emulating the games. The, you have to have the Game Boy player, right? And the Game Boy player is essentially a Game Boy Advance. It's the actual system built into it. That's the cool thing with this, and I, I like the way Nintendo did that stuff before. They weren't emulating their games, they were just adding that hardware to the system to be able to play. So that, that was pretty cool. But here we go, I just wanted this to be a quick short video for you guys. Link in the description if you want to grab one of these Prism adapters. I, I think it's well worth it uh, if you don't already have one. And it's really cool that it's just so simple to update when something new comes out. From what I understand, the next GC video update is supposed to have a a lot more stuff going on for it but we have to wait for that one the uh this update was just kind of a few smaller things that people needed or had brought up and recommended and they were i guess a little more vital than other things but gc video is always getting updated and cool that we can easily update this so appreciate you guys give you a big ass thumb but not too blurry got like a button indentation on there been filming a bunch of videos today man oh. Gotta, gotta keep the hustle strong here. Appreciate y'all. Catch you on the next one. Bye.